Thank you, Tony. Um, we all know that our relationship with the United States is an incredibly important one. In 2016, you said Mr Trump was um, incredibly unsuitable to be leader of the free world. No, I didn't is that, say that, but is that I a... did say he had views that I just couldn't understand. Um, there was a quote of the American, The Americans picked him, so it's up to them who they pick. Very true. Let him finish um, his question, if you don't mind. I want to be quiet. Is, is that still your view towards Mr Trump, and how do you suppose you would further the relationship with Mr Trump, uh, also quoting as saying he was barking mad? I said his, some of his views were... Um, how will I deal with Donald Trump? Not the first person who asked me that, and it's a very good question. Uh, professionally and politely. I'll always put Australia's interests first. Um, the American alliance is important for our security, and we have a lot of shared values. Whatever the American democratic system elects, uh, we'll work with them, and that's how I'll be. That's how I've always been. When I was a union rep, I could always work professionally with the employers. Uh, in the parliament, I try and work as professional as I can with the Liberals, uh, even when they change leaders. Um, and with Mr Trump, and with Xi Jinping, and with Theresa May, and with Mr Macron, and with Mr Trudeau, and all the other leaders, Mr O'Neill in New Zealand, with my friend Jacinda Ardern in New Zealand, I'll be professional, but what I'll also do is I'll never compromise our national interests. My foreign policy will be independently minded and it will speak with an Australian accent. It will prioritise working in the Pacific with New Zealand, with Indonesia, with our near neighbours. I understand the importance of North Asia economically and the rise of India. I understand the value of multilateral institutions. I understand and respect the shared history of the ANZUS alliance. And foreign policy for Australia under my government will not be a second order issue. And what's even better, I'm going to give the world Senator Penny Wong. So I'm sending the best we've got. <laughs> Okay.